There is a whole lot to love about the Pixel 8a. Google's newest A-series phone is a smaller and cheaper alternative to last year's Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro, taking many of the best features of the top-end device and cramming them into a mid-range phone costing $499. US dollar. Arriving 6 months after the flagship Pixels and 6 months before the expected announcement of the Pixel 9, the Pixel 8a is more than just a mid-generation stepping stone. The phone gets Google's fastest Tensor G3 processor as expected, which brings with it access to many of the headline-grabbing AI features previously exclusive to the most expensive Pixels. That means the Pixel 8a gets clever photo editing tools like the base take, which lets you tap on friends' faces in group photos to pick a better expression and achieve the perfect shot. You also get the powerful Magic Editor tool, Google's trademark AI feature, which lets you reposition, delete the resize and subjects in photos and have generative AI seamlessly fill in the gaps. At US$499, Google's newest affordable Android phone occupies an awkward position in the Pixel range. It does pretty much everything the Pixel 8 can, but with the Pixel 8 regularly on sale for as little as US$550, the cheaper Pixel 8a looks like less of a bargain. Setting aside the potential to pick up the original Pixel 8 at a discount, we can still say that the Pixel 8a is remarkably good value for money. Here is our review. The Pixel 8a costs US$499, which is a relief for our American viewers, but now Australia knows how we felt last year. In the US, that's the same as the Pixel 7a cost a year ago, but 50 pounds more in the UK and 100 bucks more in Australia. Google raised the price for the Pixel 7a in the US but kept things stable for Americans this year and that's great because the Pixel 8a feels like a better value than ever before. Google is offering 7 years of Android OS updates for the Pixel 8a. Let's be honest, you probably won't have this phone in 7 years but somebody might and they will get the latest software. Whether you pass this down to a kid or trade it for your next phone, the Pixel 8a should last longer than before and that's a huge vote of confidence from Google. Android phones don't hold their value as well as Apple iPhones and while longevity isn't the biggest reason, having longer support could help Android's reputation, which could improve value in the long run. Don't wait, the Pixel 8a is worth buying now. In the past, I recommended waiting for a sale, but this feels like a phone that performs above its price range, so there is no reason to wait if you want one now. For the same price, you can get a OnePlus 12R. While there is much to recommend it, that phone, I think most people should stick with the Pixel 8a. The OnePlus 12R is faster with a bigger, better display. It has a huge battery and it charges much faster than almost any other smartphone you can buy, let alone the Pixel 8a. The OnePlus 12R isn't water resistant too, so it's less durable and that makes a huge difference to me. It also doesn't get the same 7 years of Android OS updates and OnePlus isn't even trying to make AI features that come Pit with Google in terms of software. OnePlus does a nice job, but Google is still rules the Android roost. The Pixel 8a has the same Tensor G3 chipset as the two more expensive Pixel 8 phones. It comes with 8GB of RAM, just like the Pixel 8 in processor and graphics benchmarks. Performance was effectively identical between the Pixel 8a and Pixel 8. The Pixel 8a also has a bright display like the Pixel 8 and in our tests, both phones reached above 1450 nits at 100% brightness, where the Pixel 8 pulls ahead and earns its premium aside from the improved cameras are in the smaller details. The Pixel 8 uses Gorilla Glass Victus, which is stronger than the Gorilla Glass 3 on the Pixel 8a. The Pixel 8 has Wi-Fi 7 too, that's only useful if you also have a new Wi-Fi 7 router. 
if you wanted a cuter, more curvaceous version of the Pixel 8, the Pixel 8a delivers. Sure, it looks like every other Pixel phone since the Pixel 6, but that's brand identity. I actually like the camera bar, I prefer its symmetry to the camera bump on most other phones. The Pixel 8a has nicely rounded corners and some flashy color options including the brighter than expected aloe green of my review sample, a nice step into the light from the more subdued mint green Pixel 8. The back is plastic, not glass, but the mid finish and great colors make it look much more premium than the ugly plastic phones of your. Glossy plastic is out, the Pixel 8a is in. Otherwise, it's a Pixel and you know what that looks like by now, it looks like every other Pixel. I mean the two tone options of the Pixel 6 phones, but it is still a pretty phone that will stand out just enough from the herd of Galaxy and iPhones. Google's new so-called extra display were a key selling point for the Pixel 8 family so I am pleased to report that Pixel 8a earns its spot in the lineup with a bright colorful display that doesn't skimp on specs, it has a 120Hz refresh rate and the same 2000 nit brick brightness potential as the Pixel 8. The bezel is a bit thick but you won't notice unless you hold it up next to another phone. The smaller size of the Pixel 8a with its 6.1 inch OLED display is one of my favorite aspects of its design. It's a nice compact phone. I had some trouble seeing the display in the bright California sunshine in Mountain View which made some photography hard but this was only a problem on the clearest day with the sun overhead. Indoors, the display seemed exceptionally bright so perhaps it just needed a better reflective coating. The OnePlus 12R does have a larger 6.7 inch display and OnePlus claims it can hit an eye pricing 4500 nits of brightness but we haven't seen it achieve this in our tests. Still for the same price you can get a larger display but the compact size is part of the Pixel 8a appeal. Google makes the best Android phone software much better than Samsung's One UI. While OnePlus and Motorola stay close to Google's design, you can't beat the house of Android for simplicity and ease of use. Maybe it's getting too easy, Android used to have many more customization options to organize your home screens and your app list. Most of these are gone now, you can't even put apps into folders in Google's app menu. On the other hand, Google does the best job with things like notifications. If I get a notification I don't want, I just hold my finger on the message and I get a robust setting tool that lets me turn off all notices from an app or just certain categories of interruption. I get to pick what each app notifies me about and I don't have to dig to find the options. They just appear with a praise. The new AI tools keep getting better, I make a new AI wallpaper every few days, even better I now let Google say I answer most of my impersonal phone calls and I can see what my caller says in a live transcript as the AI handles them. The Gemini AI features are good and it isn't a perfect Google Assistant replacement but Gemini can use Google Assistant as one of its tools to make up the difference. The AI features are constantly growing, Gemini can now help compose email message in the Gmail app and I'd expect it will soon offer help in the mobile docs, sheets and maybe slides apps. Unfortunately, the Gemini app stopped working for me suddenly a few days before this review published. I have I have reached out to Google to make sure that this is an isolated issue and I will update if I get a response. The Pixel 8a also carries forward the best of Google's AI image editing in Google Photos. You get the classic magic eraser and the newer magic editor AI features as well. The reason it can handle all these features is because the processing is done by Google in the cloud. You will eventually be able to load the Gemini Nano language model onto the phone to handle some generative writing locally, but it will be hidden as a developer option. I suspect that's more because of the audience and target market for this bargain phone and not because of any performance deficit. 
Will Google really support the Pixel 8a for 7 years? I had concerns, so I spoke to Google before this phone arrived at my door. Google's Pixel's wraps assure me they have a roadmap for Tensor G3 phones that will last 7 years. In 2031, the Pixel 8a will retire with Android 21 on board because Google has a plan Android Yolo cake, perhaps. Google's Pixel A series phones are usually an easy pick for the best bargain camera phone because they are unfuzzy and produce great images that are perfect for sharing online. By that I mean they don't look great if you zoom in too close. But for viewing on smaller screens, the Pixel 8a makes photos that look surprisingly good. How good? To test the Pixel 8a camera, I compared photos against the Pixel 8 Pro, Google's best camera phone and one of my favorites. The photos were remarkably similar. If I didn't zoom in on a shot, I often couldn't tell which photo was taken by the Pixel 8a and which by the Pixel 8 Pro. Google's color and light balancing are nearly identical on both phones. Only in the darkest conditions was the Pixel 8 Pro advantage clear. To compare with the Google Pixel 8 Pro, here is a sample that shows more detail from the Pro camera but both images look good. The color and lighting is very similar across both devices. Here you can see some camera samples of Google Pixel 8a. Admittedly, the Pixel 8a and all of the Tensor G3 generation of Pixel phones are not top performing phones. Any phone with a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 or newer Snapdragon and any recent iPhone will outperform the Pixel 8 in benchmark test. What does that mean in the real world? Not much. Unless you are playing the most demanding games or using advanced photo or video editing tools, the Pixel 8a will be enough to keep up. It ran all of my games including Call of Duty and Marvel Snap with no trouble. It just didn't run games as smoothly as the Galaxy S24 can run them. There was some delay with many of the AI features but that's because the Pixel 8a needs to talk. To Google before it gives you an answer. Even AI wallpapers rely on Google's cloud for help and there is a back and forth delay. My phone does not have access to Gemini Nano yet so I am curious to see if that speeds up any generative writing. I had some trouble using Bluetooth on the Pixel 8a. The phone kept finding and refinding my Pixel Buds Pro. I had to reconnect them three times in a week. It had trouble holding the connection with my car stereo and twice it lost my Ray-Ban Meta smart glasses. In a week or so of testing, I had only a small handful of issues, but it was annoying. The Pixel 8a is my new favorite bargain phone and if you need a new phone for less, the Pixel 8a gives you more than you would expect. You get Google's latest and greatest mobile AI tools plus 7 years of Android updates in a package that's colorful and durable. You won't find so much of the future in any other phone that's this affordable.